Okay, good morning, I'm back. It's Wednesday and it's the 25th of March. I've just had to look at the news on the TV because I'm losing track of my days. It's like, you know that time of Christmas where you haven't got a clue what day it is because it's like that limbo bit in between. Pretty much feels like that right now. I'm on day six of quarantine. They're talking about the Olympics on TV now. A lot of you would have already found out that the Olympics has been postponed until 2021. Yes, it's gotten, but it's obviously for the right reasons. In terms of the Olympics itself, we were all excited. It's a big celebration in itself and I think this year it wouldn't have been right to have held it and celebrated knowing what's going on in the world so definitely the health and well-being of everyone around us is more important right now in the grand scheme of things a year is not a big difference although right now it seems like a really long time a year will fly by every year we say oh my gosh this year has gone so quick and i think this time it'll go even quicker so that's that but it's wednesday now usually we have like a deload day but my plans change slightly just because of the olympics obviously the olympics isn't on now so i don't need to be pushing myself three times a day for training. I'm gonna make the most of this time where I've got no specific training because I know that as soon as I go back to Manchester, it'll be three times a day and or two to three times a day. And I'll take this moment for granted. So um, I'm gonna chill out, give my body time to recover. Just make sure that I keep on top of general conditioning and just keep my legs ticking over so that when I get back to kicking, I'm not a complete white belt. This morning, I'm just gonna do a conditioning session mixed with a bit of kicking. And then tonight, I'll do steady state cardio just to keep myself going. Let's crack on with my session. See you in a bit. Interconnected, we really are, you know, in some cases for better, but also in some yeah. depressed, the things are bothering us. I think it's very interesting. If you wait and you sit on it, it's going to just blow up, and that's not a good place to be. Outdoor training. Taking the 10 minutes outside because it's too hot. And I want to make the most of this one. Oh god, and still, well, it's not gonna be done for a long time. She loves the sun, so I set her up a little bed. Now she can sit in the sun. So cute. Nala! Where's your car? You're in the sun. <laughs> She ain't moving from here all day now. What's going on? Just finished up my morning session. I mixed kicking with conditioning. I've only got one session today. Well, technically I would only have one session. I've kind of combined my main conditioning session with kicking and just finished off with like steady state on the bike. I think this afternoon I'm going to do some rehab and steady state anyway. So kind of two sessions, but hey, there's nothing else to do. My dogs are keeping me so entertained on this little... Look, she's digging the garden now. Oi! I'm watching you. She tries to dig holes under the fence. I don't know what she's trying to get, but she buries her toys in her Oi! buries her toys and her bones underneath, and then tries to get them later. She is living the life at the minute, just lying in the sun everywhere. Lazy. Right. So, quick update. I've just had a bath. This thing keeps zooming in. Okay. Gonna edit this video. I just finished up this morning's training, and I also put on this. Palmer's cocoa butter, self tan. I swear I'm a different person doing this quarantine. I just put that on to top of my tan. I think it just makes me feel like that to be honest because I'm such a pale person anyway and I hate being so pale. Why not? I'm gonna make the brave dash to Asda later. Only one of us can leave the house so I think I'm the chosen one. And I'm gonna go armed with a list, armed with a two meter bubble so no one can come near me. Get out of the house to get some food because we've run out of fresh food. Apart from that, I'm just gonna edit the video and chill out. <laughs> I'm going in, I'm breathing the track to Asda to get the essentials. Right, let's go. Also got no socks on because 
Oh well. Honestly, this weather is absolutely gorgeous. The one time that we're not allowed outside is the one time that it's stunning. Anyway, I'm off to Asda to go and get the essentials. So, I'll catch you later. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna do this dead quick. I won't be able to film. It's a one in, one out policy. So, I'm just gonna come in here, grab all my stuff, and then leave straight away because people are outside queuing. So, I don't wanna take up too much time. So, I'm just gonna get the essentials and then I'll see you in the car. Each other in store where you can. Thanks for your help and understanding. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Marcus Alan, Sandra. Yes, no worries. Bloody golden, eh? No, uh, don't forget that. Excuse the side, mate. No worries, take me. Well, wasn't that exciting times? Just, oh, just to fill you all in, fruit and veg is dirt cheap right now because I suppose the fresh food is going off quickly as there's not as many people buying it. So we had to queue, uh, we had to queue for the first, say, 20 minutes or so. There's like a two meter line where you can't go past the line and you went to stay in the queue. They was working on a one in, one out basis. Obviously one person can go in as soon as one has come out just to control the volume of people in the store, which I think is a great idea. They had like a security guard on the, sorry I'm trying to concentrate at the same time. So they had a security guard on the front doors controlling who can go in and out. And overall I think it is very, very different. We was in there and people were avoiding each other just naturally didn't want to be near each other. Yeah, it was just bizarre. That's the world we're living in at the minute. But yeah, I was very conscious of not going near people and not picking things up too often and all that sort of stuff. So in that respect, it's definitely changed a lot. But yeah, apart from that, I got my normal shop. Didn't get any hand sanitizer, but I keep some here in my car. Sorry, I lost you then for a couple of minutes. Um, right, I'm just doing the rounds now. So what I was saying, um, I'm pretty happy with how Ads doing all the supermarkets are handling it because they obviously taking it quite serious. I've just nipped into Aldi now because I couldn't get what I wanted to in Asda and now I'm gonna head into Pound Stretcher because there's one more thing I need and that's it. So I managed to stock up on hand sanitizer. Well, when I say stock up, I managed to get two bottles. They've limited everything to two items per customer. Honestly, this is like gold at the minute. Like. I saw it and my eyes lit up. Every time I've come out of a shop, I've done my hands, my surfaces in my car, everywhere when I'm touching. So my phone, my bank cards, the camera, I've been sanitizing when I've made contact with the outside world. Hopefully I can reduce the risk by cleaning everything I've touched. Gonna head into the last store now, pick up my last item and then head back to the house. I'll see you in a bit. Oh my gosh, I've not been up here in ages. My school's up there and this is where I used to chill like all the time and i'm telling you that jade garden that fish and chips shop there the best fish and chips in south wales i'm telling you at least there was like 10 years ago <laughs> that's the time to get what i need right let's do this shopping required Okay, what is going on? I'm back from Asda. Just made some lunch. Lots of salad, lots of veg. Not particularly hungry. hungry. Uh, not particularly hungry. It's three o'clock now. Yeah, I just eating because I feel like I have to. If I didn't train this morning, I probably won't be eating. No, don't advise that. I made a big salad for lunch. There's some sardines in there, so I'm whacking my protein in and my amigas. So I'm still smashing my nutrition now more than ever because I am prone to putting on weight stupidly quick so I'm using this time to try and control myself, discipline myself and focus on nailing my nutrition. I'm gonna eat this and then edit the rest of this video. So, see you later. Tell you how I play! <laughs> Are you finished?
finished. <laughs> Don't you come up? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Good morning, back again for another session. This is gonna become a bit repetitive, I apologize, but I'm back kicking again. I've got another session this morning. My coach has sent me a session, so I'm gonna crack on with that and then do another conditioning session later on. So today I'll be kicking this morning. This thing keeps zooming in. Today I'll be conditioning this morning and then on the bike. No, wrong. Today it will be kicking this morning and then on the bike this afternoon for conditioning. It's not as hot out today, but I want to do my conditioning session outside because the sun's out there, so I'm gonna move the bike out there. But for now, I'm gonna warm up on the bike in here and then do my kicking session. I've also applied for spin the wheel again on this morning, so I'll be keeping that on to see if I get a phone call. But yeah, time to crack on with my kicking session. in the back now. I'm not going to film all the sessions obviously because it'll get a bit repetitive. I did like reps and then finished off with a couple of rounds. Bike, 30 minutes now just to finish off and then that's it for today. I'll probably do some rehab later because I've not done much rehab this week and I do have an injury so it's quarter to 12 now. I plan on finishing at like quarter past 12 and then I'll do my next session at like four o'clock. That'll just be like steady state or conditioning with some rehab. So yeah, I'll you in a bit. But I also got nominated to do the C10 do t C10 do a 10. Right, let's start this again. Okay, I also got nominated to do the C10 do 10 challenge on Instagram where you got to do 10 press ups. Now, I embarrassingly struggled like an absolute novice. So, my physio messaged me and said, Why don't you just add one rep every day for every day when in quarantine? I thought that's, do you know what? That's actually a great idea. So, my gullible self is going to do exactly that and see if I can bash out 100 reps by the end of this phase. This will be day two, bang out 11 reps. Not really say bang them out, I mean. Let's attempt. Okay, okay. Right. Let's go. Right, I'm done. 11. Tomorrow's 12. This is a challenge I feel like I can do. One rep a day is nothing, is it? Let's be honest. Kicking finished. I did. Don't know if you can see that. I love this app. I get proper addicted to it. I'm off to go to the bar. I'm going to come back down and watch the swimming. So, see you in a bit. going on I'm meeting you at this very graceful angle I'm short of breath I'm knackered I've just done 45 minutes of about 40 minutes of steady state cardio I got a bit bored doing bike so I decided to come out and do some on feet conditioning I had a simple session so just like four minutes on one minute off uh, for 40 minutes and then finish off with some proprioceptive work got proprioceptive work that's the one because I've got to keep on top of my rehab. I've just been sending my videos to my physio because he wants to check on how I'm doing it and to see if I'm doing it right. So I thought I'd come outside and do it in the sun because I'm going to make the most of this sun, like I said. 
And yeah, I, by the way, I use this for my conditioning. So for the four minute, instead of on the bike, I use a skip and rope. And my hair is sweaty and wet because the bath before I came out here and I've not dried my hair. So that's that. Mate, it's so funny the amount of people in the street who I've never seen in the street. Like my neighbour's doing a garden, my neighbour opposite me is washing his car. They're all keeping a distance, obviously, but everyone's making the most of this time to do all the boring housework chores that they wouldn't usually do. I'm saying that, but I'm one of them because I want to wash my car again and I can't keep washing my car, there'll be no pink left. I feel like I want to polish and wash my car in this weather. I just can't do it too often. I've done it once already, look, it's gleaming. I've done it once already. There's sun bumps off it. Done, finished. That is it for another vlog. Uh, the second vlog of this series. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting them out quite quickly now because I've got a lot of time on my hands to edit the videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. See you in a bit.